order now. Public meeting 295 of the Massachusetts Gaming Commission on Wednesday, March 25th at 2 p.m. This is a public meeting and we will be joined by um, members of the public and members of the media. I do want to uh, note that given the unprecedented circumstances resulting from, of course, the global coronavirus pandemic, Governor Baker has issued an order to provide limited relief from certain provisions of the open meeting law to protect the health and safety of individuals interested in attending the public meetings. Keeping with the, the guidance that the governor provided, this meeting is being provided through a virtual connection. We appreciate those who have attended. Um, to confirm our quorum, I'll take a roll call, please. Commissioner Cameron. Aye. Commissioner O'Brien. Aye. Commissioner Zuniga. Aye. And Commissioner Stevens. Aye. Thank you. We have a quorum. Um, I just want to make a, a, a brief opening statement. On our March 14th meeting, which was held at 10 a.m. on a Saturday morning, um, pursuant to an emergency um, provision of the open meeting law, operations at our three licensees were temporarily suspended until March 29th. In the interim, as we all know, the governor issued um, a sweeping order that uh, <clears throat> did assure that continued operation of essential services closed certain workplaces and uh, prohibited gatherings of more than 10 people through Tuesday, April 7th at noon. I want to commend our licensees over the course of the last um, few weeks of demonstrating compassionate leadership as community members and corporate partners here in the Commonwealth during this difficult time. And of course, I want to commend our team led by our interim executive director, Karen Wells, for uh, their ongoing commitment to the operational aspect of our work and also for recent efforts to help the Commonwealth, our fellow residents, to examples of providing uh, help live streaming uh, for the governor's office. And to most recently, we've um, been able to identify that we do have rubber gloves that can be donated to MEMA, hopefully distributed to our healthcare officials or those on the ground who need it. Most of all, uh, I think I can speak for my fellow commissioners, but they will certainly want to add their sentiments that we um, appreciate and value all of the efforts on the front line of our healthcare providers, our nurses, our doctors, all of those on, in the healthcare community who are risking so much on behalf of those in need. <clears throat> we also want to thank all of those who are guaranteeing our access to our, to our supply chain, our truckers, folks at Frontline in their grocery stores and at our pharmacists, pharmacies, and all others who are making sure that essential needs are um, delivered to our homes and particularly those who are most vulnerable. <clears throat> and of course, to our first responders. We're very fortunate to have the services of state police um, in our gaming enforcement unit. We value their service so much, but of course, we extend our gratitude to all of the state police to all of the municipal police officers and uh, to all first responders who are um, really making sure that during this time we stay safe and of course to our military folks for everything that they're doing um, through the federal um, government and the state government directives. I'm missing out on so many, but we, um, my guess is that we understand that there are a lot of people out there working while we're staying remotely safe, so thank you. For that, I turn to item uh, number two, um, an executive staff update from Interim Executive Director Wells. Karen, thank you uh, for having me. Thank you. I just want to confirm, we're not, uh, I want to check that this is being recorded. This is being um, uh, remote recorded. I not confirmed that it's recorded. You know what, I just turned on the button, so my um, statements are not, I'm sure Shara got them and I have them noted. So we are recorded. I need to make that public. So it is being recorded. Thanks for the tip. Okay. Yeah, and uh, you can, uh, I'll just 
put on the record that the, uh, the chair already identified that we have a quorum here and identify all commissioners are participating. Thank you. So just uh, as for the executive staff update, uh, just to let you know, the staff continues to work remotely. Uh, only state police are, uh, are on site at a presence at either the casino properties or office space consistent with the governor's directive. There may be other uh, GEU members from the municipal police departments that are on site, but we are following the guidance uh, that we were given by the state, and we uh, are having our folks work remotely. There is plenty of work that our staff is doing uh, right now, so we had implemented a plan where we could have people work remotely and work on things that still needed to be done despite not being on site, so that is uh, in process. Uh, the significant matter before the commission today is um, regarding the operational status of the gaming licensees. My uh, recommendation uh, is that given the governor's order issued on March 23rd, I recommend that the commission extend the temporary suspension of operations at the three gaming establishments, which was initially instituted on March 14th to April 7th, 2020 at noon. That is consistent with the governor's order. Uh, I also recommend that the commission reconvene prior to the April 7th date to evaluate the situation and make any further determination. I'm going to turn to each of my fellow commissioners in order for questions for um, interim executive director Wells, starting with Commissioner Cameron. Uh, yes, uh, interim director Wells, thank you for that update. I certainly concur with your recommendation. Um, it's a sound plan following uh, the governor's order and then evaluating uh, ahead of time so that if there are uh, other necessary arrangements we have to make, we'll be prepared to do that then. So thank you for the recommendation. I, I certainly concur. Commissioner Zuniga. Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, I think it only, um, it only makes uh, sense to, to follow the recommendation and I think uh, we should. Excuse me. I do, I do have a question. Uh, as if, if these, uh, if the governor's office keeps extending uh, one or two weeks at a time, uh, are we to assume that we reconvene uh, to to a future meeting just like this in short order and, and evaluate at that time? I would recommend that we do do that um, at this time, unless I hear differently from my fellow commissioners or Director Wells. I would agree with that. That's, Commissioner O'Brien? Uh, no, I think that it's the only step to make is to proceed um, in compliance with the governor's order and then also to continue to update ourselves on the status and convene prior to that date. Um, not only convening, if we need to extend based on extensions on the governor's part, but also amongst ourselves in terms of making our judgments um, as this progresses. So I would concur with the recommendation. And Commissioner Stebbins, then we'll go back to Commissioner Zuniga. Sure, thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I concur with the recommendation as well. Um, we seem to be able to get together pretty quickly and using the, uh, the authority that the governor has allowed us to do, we can kind of quickly reconvene in advance of uh, any of the deadlines that the governor's office has imposed. Commissioner Zuniga, does that work for you? Yes, absolutely. Um, thank you. Yeah, I think I think we can stay nimble, and, and the governor's order um, will, will inform our decision making. I'm sure. Um, so at this time, if there are no other questions, um, interim executive director Wells, you are looking for a vote, correct? Correct. That's correct, Madam Chair. Thank you. Do I have a motion? Yes, Madam Chair, uh, I move that the Commission extend the temporary suspension of operations at the three gaming establishments initially instituted on March 14, 2020 through April 7, 2020 at noon, consistent with Governor Baker's order issued on March 23, 2020, and the Commission's statutory obligations that were discussed at the March 14, 2020 hearing. Uh, the Commission will continue to review and assess the public health condition in cooperation with appropriate authorities and the gaming licensees and make a determination as to the status of operations in advance of the April 7, 2020. Second. Okay, I'll do a roll call. Uh, Commissioner Stebbins. Aye. Commissioner Zuniga. Aye. 
Commissioner O'Brien. Aye. And Commissioner Cameron. Aye. And the chair votes yes. We have five zero. Thank you uh, very much, and thank you, um, interim executive Wells, for for uh, your guidance on that. We do have an, another item um, that we wanted to address. Uh, uh, Karen, on, on item 2B, please. Yes, yeah, so that is an update to the commission on the uh, receipt of responses to the RFI and public comments regarding Region C. Uh, we had set a deadline of March 16th for not only the responses to the RFI, which the commission put out, but also for public comments on questions that the commission had presented. Uh, we received six full, applica uh, full responses to the RFI, and we received many, many responses to the public comments. Uh, given the situation that we're in now across the state, uh, we, uh, re my recommendation for the commission right now is that uh, we distribute those as possible to the commission so you have a time uh, to evaluate those, and then we can circle back at an appropriate time as our next step. But uh, given the emergency situation we're in now, I don't see any pressing need to set any particular um, uh, imminent date for any kind of evaluation. We can give the commission some time to review those RFIs and review the uh, public comments because there is a lot of information in there. Commissioners, um, do you have questions and comments for Interim Executive Director Wells on this matter? I'll start with Commissioner O'Brien. Uh, no, I don't. I've reviewed some of the submissions. I haven't seen the public comments yet, but i um, looking forward to seeing those. But I agree with her assessment in terms of the date. It's not necessary given what's going on. Commissioner Stebbins, thank you, Commissioner. Uh, sure, Madam Chair. Thank you. Um, I also uh, am reviewing, uh, going through the packages, looking at what each of the respondents' uh, reply has been. I am also anxious to to get the public comments when they're available to assess those, but I, uh, I agree with Director Wells' recommendation about uh, uh, we can put this off temporarily and uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, Commissioner Cameron. Uh, I, I agree with the recommendation and, um, you know, we'll be reviewing as well. So um, in full agreement with that recommendation. Excellent. Thank you. Commissioner Zuniga. Uh, same. I uh, agree with the recommendation. I think it's only appropriate uh, to use uh, some of this time to um, to have a careful review of, uh, of what we already have in the responses and what will be uh, forthcoming in terms of the very large amounts of public comment. Um, I just want to mention that uh, at a first pass, um, uh, it looks like a, a good... Um, portion of those responses uh, to the RFI are very thoughtful and it's um, it's great that we have a number of them not 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 just one or two uh, uh, but uh, six if I if I know if I remember correctly um, and um, and again look forward to um, re reviewing them and um, analyzing them uh, collectively at a later time thank you and and um in line with Commissioner Zuniga's comment, we do want to thank those who, who took the time and the resources to respond so thoughtfully to the RFI request. It's important uh, for us to get that expertise shared, um, and we appreciate um, we appreciate those responses. And, of course, we appreciate how many members of the public have uh, submitted comments. Um, <clears throat> we're getting them both in hard copy and electronically, so... Uh, it's a bit of a challenge to get them all to us immediately, but we are able to get them to us um, in batches, so we'll have those available during this time to read, and we appreciate all the members of the public for their interest and their responsiveness. So thank you. Um, <clears throat> I, I understand you do not need a vote for that. Um, Interim Executive Director, do you have anything else for us on your executive staff update? No, not at this time. Right, and unless I hear from my fellow commissioners that there's any other matter, um, I um, know of none right now that would be something I couldn't reasonably anticipate. And so um, I would I would move, uh, I would ask for um, a motion to adjourn unless someone has something. I do want to point out that uh, my um, 
failure to record earlier, I am very lucky because we have a redundancy in Sarah, yeah. who keeps the recording too. So we will have a full record. And again, Commissioner Stebbins, I'm sorry I, I disappointed you. I promised to push that button. <laughs> uh, um, it's very nice comment, Sarah. It would have been nice to have it in you know the actual live, but that's okay. be more nice comments as they go forward. We have well, them all on the record. It's all fine. It's all on the record, and that's all that matters. Um, I appreciate everyone coming out for this meeting. I can see um, that we have over about 100, we have 118 participants. So that is um, a testament to um, the interest in our work. To the entire team at the Gaming Commission, thank you for um, all of the efforts you are making remotely support each other. I appreciate all the managers meeting virtually with their teams to keep morale lifted and to make everyone's sense of purpose satisfied. I appreciate that. And to those who have attended who are stakeholders, we appreciate your interest and we want all to stay safe and well. Thank you. Do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Awesome. Second. That's from Commissioner O'Brien and Commissioner Cameron, and uh, I'll take a roll call. Commissioner Zuniga. Aye. Commissioner Stebbins. Aye. Commissioner Cameron. Aye. And Commissioner O'Brien. Aye. Chair votes yes. This meeting is concluded. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.